This kit I have been wanting to show for a while. It's a hydraulic hose and coupling identification kit. So this is just the Gates version. These can be kind of difficult to find. I found this one on eBay for like 35 bucks. Um, if you know, if you're good with a hose supplier or something, they might be able to know where you can get one or give you one. I did find the AeroQuip version on Summit Racing's website. It's like 75 bucks. So I'll link that. And I found one on Amazon that's slightly different. It's like the plastic style. This kit is used to identify hydraulic fittings or hoses. So say you had this fitting and you didn't know exactly what it was and you needed to identify it. You would use this kit. It comes with the booklet, which is everything, that all the reference material that you would need. It's got the, the thread pitch, the dash size, and then if it's got a seat angle, like JIC 37 degree flare, it'll show you that. So it's got NPT, JIC, SA straight, O-ring boss, DIN 24, um, DIN 60 degree. So it's got every all the all the reference material in it, and then it comes with the the calipers for measuring the fittings, the seat angle guide, and then it comes with two thread pitch gauges, um, the North American and the I can get it out. There we go. The North American. It's just the thread pitch gauges and the international, which is some British threads as well as metric. And then, so these kits can be fairly hard to find. Um, I found the link to one on Summit Racing, which is the AeroQuip version. And as far as I can tell, they're all basically the same information. Some of them have part numbers in it. This Gates one doesn't exactly, doesn't have any part numbers in it for Gates. But some of them have, like the cat one has the cat part numbers for things. I'll put the cat part number. The cat one is kind of expensive. It's like it's like almost 400 bucks. So if you work at a cat dealer or you are you have a good account there, whatever, and you're allowed to charge stuff out or whatever, I would maybe get the cat one. But otherwise, there's a air equipped version. Or you can just search on eBay for, that's what I did, hydraulic hose coupling identification kit. And you can find a whole bunch of them. I this was probably four or five when I found this one. But you just make sure that all the pieces are in there if you're going to get a used one from eBay. Because a lot of them I saw didn't have this little guy in it. Um, or it had didn't have one of these in it. But some of them have the um, seat angles built into the calipers. So they might not all come with this. But just kind of look around if you're going to buy a used one. Just look to make sure you're getting all the tools. So like this was a perfect one as it shows all the tools in it. So it's got the two gauges, the seat angle, and the calipers. So these are really helpful for, I use it all the time for not knowing what stuff is. Or sometimes like on a, on a deer excavator, you could take out a fitting and it looks like O-ring boss. A lot of times fittings are real close. Like this one looks like a JIC, but it's, it's not. It's JIS, Japanese Industrial Standard. O-ring boss and the British Standard Parallel Pipe. Uh, fitting are very similar so that's what these books help uh, um, eliminate and also gives you some stuff for flange fittings flange fittings are a whole or a whole different setup but it will give you some flange stuff this is how I use this kit so first of all I start by measuring the um, OD of the fitting so we take the calipers and then you just measure the OD I usually like to do it kind of like this that way because if you get in the threads like this you could get a false measurement. So for this particular caliper, right here where it says out, it means outside, and it is uh, 1932. And then in, on these particular calipers, they're kind of weird, so in means like this where it's an inside thread, but it measures the same, 1932. So now we know that this is 1932, which is nominal size 3 8 or dash 6. And then the next thing I do is measure the thread pitch. So you can just start different ones. This is 12, and it, it doesn't really fit. So let's try 19. Uh, 19 fits pretty good. So if you look on this particular style gauge, you want to make sure that the, the teeth are all the way down in the bottom of the threads. Because if, if you have an 18 and this is a 19, it'll be real close, but it's not exactly right. So you want to make sure that you're all the way down in the bottom. And then the next thing to measure is the seat angle if it has a seat angle like this has a seat angle here so in the way that these seat angle gauges work at least this style 
is you want to make sure that this is parallel to the threads all the way across, like to know the right seat angle. So this is 30 degree seat angle. And if you can see that it's parallel from here across. Let me show you, this is 37 degree. So let me show you what it looks like when it's not parallel. See how it's, it's not parallel. This is a little bit higher. So that's how you tell. So now we know that this is three eighths or 1932 and the thread pitch is 19 threads per inch with a 30 degree seat flare or seat angle. So then what we do is you go into the book and then you can kind of just flip through the book and then you can see, it gives you instructions too on how to measure. You can flip through the book here. So NPT, well, it doesn't have, the threads aren't tapered, so we know it's not NPT. JIC, it's close, but this is 37 degree flare. So we know this is an, this fitting here is in a JIC. And then the next page, 45 degree flare. We know that this fitting is 30 degree, so we're looking for 30 degree. Straight thread O-ring boss, it doesn't have a flare, so we know that's not the, the right fitting. O-ring face, it doesn't have an O-ring on the face, so that's not correct. Tubeless flange uh, is an uh, inverted seat. No, we know that's not correct. Just keep looking around until we find what we're looking for. Press lock, British pipe, no. 24 degree din, no. We're not, it's not what we're looking. 60 degree din, no, that's not right. Still just trying to find, kind of flip through until you find what you're looking for. Oh, here we go. Japanese 30 degree flare parallel threads. So we measured this seat angle and we knew we know that this is 30 degrees. So then this is probably the right page. So then we go down here to where it says 1932. And then you come across 19 threads per inch, which we found, which is 3 eighths. So we have identified this fitting as a dash six, 3 eighths nominal size, dash six, Japanese 30 degree flare parallel threads, or I think it's referred to as JIS also right here, JISB standard. So we just identified this fitting as a dash six JIS fitting. So we identified this fitting as a JIS fitting, but then if you look right here, it says Kamatsu style 30 degree. So this looks very similar to this fitting. It's, this is 30 degree. So, but if you look here, dash six would be three eighths but it's, it's M18 by 125. So the difference, it's a slightly bigger, um, the M18 is slightly bigger than, than the 3.8. So that's another reason you'd really want this book is some of these fittings are real close. So this fitting looks like a JIC, it looks like a JIS, and it also looks like a Komatsu style. So that's why you'd have to really make sure what you're looking for. This is how I use this Gates. Hydraulic Hose and Coupling Identification Kit. Definitely something you should keep in your toolbox.